Hello my soccer universe. Although I've shown you what the schedule is for the upcoming two days um, in the Nations League, the last two, two days I decided yes, let's do a preview for, of match day five or uh, six as well to kind of see everything a little bit more clearly and actually walk through it league by league uh, because I think that also gives a little bit a better point of reference there we don't need to do it all chronologically i'll do this with the videos uh, before we get to that um since wednesday morning i have an appointment where i probably will not be uh, available all wednesday morning i think my roundup video for the two first set of games might actually come either late or it will be together with the second set of games just as a little heads up uh, I just don't see how the schedule could work otherwise. But yeah, and I kept it unchanged for the last video, but I decided to put on a League C jersey, Greece. That's a very fine jersey from the Euro 2004 winning campaign. Greece, definitely one of those nations that I personally think should actually be in League uh, B. Uh, but you know, this is a whole other discussion where we want things to be. Uh, maybe before I go in, I actually think what we should do is, um, I think the uh, transition between the leagues, it's a little bit too leaky. You lose too many teams and you gain too many uh, teams and um, very, very often the, you actually gain worse teams than you get in terms of good teams. So I actually think we have the play down in League D where the last place teams play the best and the worst against each other and the loser goes down in league D and the second best and the third best against each other loser goes down uh, the league I actually think we should make such a playoff also between league A and league B teams uh, to have it a little bit more and I would actually what I would do is I would take the best the team with the best record in League B, so let's talk between A and B, same is for B and C then. Uh, you take the best team of uh, League B and they play the worst team of League A. And probably if you want to keep it leaky, give the team from League B home field advantage, but I think that should be if you want to do it in one game. Or you can do it in two games or you actually do a playoff and a play down. I mean, with the final four, have a final four of the League B teams where you just have a home and away to decide uh, which to go up in a similar fashion. And I think this would make a little bit. So, with the four groups, and you have four teams going down. And you know, if I look at League B, I mean, Bosnia, Iceland um, are teams that I would say, okay, they are very well in League B. But Sweden and Switzerland are already two that I actually think would make it very well in League A, especially when I compare now at current standings and uh, as my change. Austria, Scotland, Russia and Wales. Yes, I mean, they could be go in League A, each of these, but none of these really scream at the moment go League A. Uh, I would argue that Scotland and potentially Wales, also Wales at the, at the moment is pretty, pretty good. Uh, so. Wales or Russia, not better in League B, my personal opinion. So um, you decide. I mean, Austria, yeah, I'm Austrian, so I'm not going to discuss much more there. I think we are probably too good for League B, and although the results don't really show it, but uh, from from what we have uh, squad-wise, we are too good for League B, but I think we're too weak for League A, so we will be a elevator team. Anyway, enough of that. Uh, let's look at the leagues and we start in League A, Group A1, uh, where we currently stand. Italy ahead of the Netherlands, ahead of Poland, with the matchups which will be played on Wednesday evening at 8.45. We have Bosnia playing at home to Italy. Bosnia has nothing to play for anymore except for Pride. Um, and then uh, Poland plays at home to the Netherlands, uh, so that's a lot to play for, because if anyone wants to stay in contention, they A have to hope that Italy does not win, and then you have to win yourself, and in Poland's case, Italy even has to lose to go forward. Um, group A2, we have decided who goes down, that's Iceland, so England-Iceland is... Um, kind of a match that could be foregone and we play a lot of substitutes uh, but we have Belgium, Denmark, um, 
playing against each other for the final spot. Uh, this game is also on Wednesday. Belgium has home field advantage. They already won in Den Den Denmark. They just have to avoid the defeat to go up. Then the next two groups are played uh, Tuesday, the 17th. Um, the first group, we know already that France goes up and that Portugal will not go either way, so it's all between Croatia and Sweden. And um, Croatia has a home game against Portugal and France has a home game against Sweden, which basically hands a little bit the advantage. I mean, having home field, it's not really big in these times, but you know, having home field advantage maybe a little bit better. Also, Croatia has the better goal difference but then you know Portugal really 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 destroyed Croatia so uh, will be a curious one I have to say uh, where uh, this will go I think Croatia as I said I give a slight slightest of advantages um, but I think Cristiano will want to get his other goal so let's see where that goes um, and then we have another final in group A4 we actually have two uh, head to heads. We have Spain on uh, Spain against Germ Germany. That's one that is very top of my list of games to watch and probably even without any goal zone. Uh, basically, Spain needs to win it. Germany needs to avoid defeat. Uh, and the winner goes into the final four. And between Ukraine and Switzerland, it's more or less who goes down. Also, not that uninteresting, also head-to-head, -head, Switzerland needs to win. Needs to win, they have a home game against, and they need to win. And they need to, and it also comes down to the head-to-head. -head. If they win by two goals or more, they are through. If they win 1-0, they're fine. If they win 2-1, then it's down to goal difference, which Ukraine would win. No? Which uh, it would move to two, two one, then it goes down to goal the, the, the difference in, in the game. So that would be fine for Switzerland. Two one, three two, head to head. Away goal rules will will, will go for the Ukrainian. Same thing for four three and so on. So quite interesting stuff there. League B. We know now that Austria will play against Norway. Uh, that's again on. All the League B games are on Wednesday. Um, and Austria will play at home to a makeshift Norway squad. Uh, they just need to avoid defeat and they go up in League A, which, as I said, given their squad, they should deserve it. Given the way they play, they don't deserve it at all, especially the coach does not deserve it. And then it's between Romania and Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland having a home game and they will need to beat Romania. I, and again, this will come down to head to head. And I don't know now how the first game ended, which is poor on my preparation don't know don't that then we have uh league b2 uh we have scotland Czech Republic, israel and slovakia there we don't have an immediate um head to head with israel playing a home game to scotland and then we have the czechs and the slovaks um i think it's rather open although scotland has scotland needs to uh, if Scotland wins, they're through a uh, draw, then it, it, it depends what the Czechs will do against the Slovaks. Um, the Czechs have been beating the Slovaks re regularly, so uh, Scotland better get a win if they want to be promoted. Um, League B3 is probably the most open group of them all because uh, three teams have a realistic shot of being promoted. Um, and uh, given the way that uh, the games are, helps definitely. So we have Russia against Serbia, uh, or Serbia against Russia, and we have Hungary at home to Turkey. So should uh, Serbia and Turkey win, then Turkey gets promoted and Serbia gets down. Uh, we can go now through all the um, permutations, basically, if Russia wins against Serbia, they're through. If, um, if Russia plays a draw, then Hungary is through with a win. And with Turkey, they might also be through then with a win because they have to have to have against Russia. So uh, that is also clear. The only way for Serbia to go up there is if they beat Russia at home. And then Hungary needs to uh, stay up. And then Hungary needs to beat Turkey. So quite interesting there. A lot easier is happening in D, in B4. We have Wales playing at home to Finland, needing to avoid defeat. And we have Ireland at home to Bulgaria, also needing to avoid defeat to uh, stay up. Then League C, uh, Montenegro, Luxembourg, Azerbaijan. Again, there are, these are played on Tuesday, as far as I know. 
Yes, and we have Luxembourg at home to Azerbaijan and Montenegro at home to Cyprus. Um, purely by form, Montenegro will beat Cy Cyprus and everything is settled. I think this is the main game. Only if that ends in a draw, then we have to look at the other uh, games, how this, how this will go. However, I think in all the other three games, we have head-to-heads and in the case of Armenia against North Macedonia, and this is being played on uh, Wednesday, yeah, Armenia plays at home to North Macedonia. Uh, so head to head, Armenia needs the win. And then uh, we have Georgia playing uh, home to Estonia. Doesn't really matter because even if Estonia wins, they are staying in. Um, North, North, North has something to say for Slovenia and um, uh, Greece. Greece plays at home against Slovenia. They need the win to be promoted to League B. And then Kosovo and Moldova, uh, same thing. I mean, Moldova needs to beat Kosovo if they want to stay up, but uh, that seems to be a rather tough uh, task. And then we have Albania playing at home to Belarus. Maybe it's last I want if they beat Belarus, they go up in Lithuania, um, Kazakhstan. And this is very, very early uh, on Wednesday. Uh, Kazakhstan plays at home to Lithuania with a win. They will not get um, put into the play downs. And that leaves us now with League D, where we have Malta playing home to the Faroe Islands. And this is now on Tuesday. Uh, that game decides who, who goes up with the Faroe Islands, avoid defeat. The Faroe Islands will play in League C next. Uh, next time, Latvia, Andorra, not much. To play for their Andorra, Lat Latvia, I should better say. Uh, and then Gibraltar has a home against game against Liechtenstein. Will my Liechtensteiners make it? I would sure hope so, but let's see where it, it will go. So yeah, this is what we have on the menu for the next two days. I think quite some exciting stuff and quite a few games to watch. I mean, honestly, for me, it is all uh, Spain against Germany. Uh, that's uh, the one big one. Then I am really curious about uh, the, uh, the group with Italy, the Netherlands and Poland and of course Austria, Norway and a little bit Belgium against Denmark. I think those are the games where I will put my uh, focus on because of personal in interest and then I of course want to see how the Russia, Hungary, Turkey, Serbia group will go as well. So yeah. A lot of interesting stuff. Le le let me know what you look looking forward to. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel because it will keep you updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.